buildings and generate electricity. Welcome to the future under the sun. The sun is able to produce electricity. Panels covered with photovoltaic cells convert sunlight into electricity. This blue plate is a module made of crystalline silicon. The grooves are the conductors and the silicon crystals glisten at its surface. To make a solar panel, several modules have to be connected together. Then they apply a soldering flux on each module. The soldering wire is heated with an iron. The modules are placed on a special support. Once the soldering is done, the modules are cleaned by ultrasound in water at 60 degrees centigrade. When dried, the perfectly clean modules are ready to be assembled. Now they can proceed with soldering the modules by groups. First, a flux is applied which improves the quality of the soldering. With great dexterity, they assemble four groups composed of nine modules each. In this way, 36 modules are soldered and connected in series. Modules are assembled end to end. They have to be handled with great care. Using a voltmeter, the voltage of each module is verified. At this stage, it's easy to remake a solder connection if there's a problem. If the voltage is adequate, they use suction grips to make handling of the nine rows of modules easier and to keep them clean. The modules are placed into position. Then this metallic strip is inserted, which is a conductor that will link the four groups of nine modules. Solder connections are made to link the modules to the metallic strip. Then they put on this transparent sheet of layered glass. It serves as a rigid transparent form which will support the modules. Superposing of parts forms a laminate which increases the rigidity and solidity of the panel. Finally, a sealing film is applied to protect the module. To laminate and stiffen the solar panel, it's placed in a heated oven from which air has been vacuumed out. The panel will in a solar simulator. Negative and positive contacts of the solar panel are connected to a voltmeter. The panel is inserted into the simulator and a powerful lamp will illuminate it. The voltmeter is read to make sure that panels supply the electric current required. Here now is the assembly of another kind of solar panel called the amorphous